was not the first military weapon that inspired many countries to create variations of a particular design. A century ago, a German gun had a similar impact on world events. Number five, the Mauser Gewehr 98 rifle. It's been called the most successful bolt-action rifle ever made. So perfect is Paul Mauser's design that 100 years after its inception, it is still used in the highest quality sporting weapons and military sniper rifles. Variations of the Gewehr 98 armed the German infantry from 1898 to 1945, laying down solid, dependable firepower through two world wars. So popular was the Gewehr 98 that by the outbreak of World War I, Almost every armed force in the world was either using a Mauser or carrying a rifle that copied its unique bolt-action design. But the realization of the Gewehr 98 came only after years of struggle for Paul Mauser and his brother Wilhelm. Initially, the Mauser brothers designed improvements on the Dresa needle gun that was in use by the Prussian army at the time. This featured a new bolt mechanism with a self-cocking feature. What this meant was when you pulled the bolt back it expelled the round and cocked the rifle so that when you inserted another round and pushed the bolt forward it was ready to fire. The gun was truly revolutionary and was approved by Kaiser Wilhelm I and became the German model 1871 infantry rifle. However it still fired its cartridges one at a time. Tank! Smoking a soldier! We are losing objective butter. said to be the deciding factor. Winchester repeating rifles had won a victory for the outnumbered Turkish forces. 
Now, European armies demanded self-loading rifles of their own, and Paul Mauser was up to the challenge. Fire! Ultimately, Mauser's innovations had two advantages over the Winchester. The first was its quicker loading system, featuring a clip holding five cartridges. The second was that a soldier could now lie in a prone position to fire. I think perhaps the most significant conflict that it was in was the Spanish-American War. Because the Americans had just spent a great deal of money in equipping themselves with a rifle called the Krag Jorgensen. And then they were confronted by the Spaniards firing Mausers, and they suddenly realized that the Krag Jorgensen wasn't such a good rifle after all. It required a great deal of panache to carry it off, to say, well, sorry lads, we made a mistake, do it all again. But they did it, and really I think that was one of the most significant things that ever happened as a result of the Mauser rifle. A good case could be made that the Mauser is the best rifle of World War I. The Russian, Austrian, French, and Italian rifles were all inferior and not as reliable. The American Springfield 03 was basically a copy, so it was the Mauser. Only the British Enfield came close to being as good. So impressive and dependable was the Gewehr 98 that in 1935, Germany again turned to the Mauser rifle to rearm the Wehrmacht. Even in an era when automatic weapons were commonplace, it was Paul Mauser's 19th century design that became standard issue for the feared stormtroopers throughout the Second World War. Only when the Nazis were finally defeated was the 47-year-old Mauser rifle taken out of service by the German army. <laughs> 